there, Pokemon trainers. I am Trainer Connor, and we have a Wi-Fi battle video against Gaxis. His IP account will be in the description if you want to go challenge him to a battle or keep up with his ordinary things going on in the region and stuff. Just a fun match overall that we're having today. We're going to see who wins. Will I win? Or will Gaxis win and take over the whole entire year? Anyway, so I begin with my Viper going for your turn. I knew he was going to set up Sothox with his Seismitoad, and I knew that it was kind of apparent just bringing in Trivenant like that, and it's like, well, we can just go for a Leech C here, and I noticed that he had a Genesect, and it's like, well, Genesect could be Scarfed, and I wanted to be sure about that, so I'm going to go into Blade Wing. And the fact that he goes for a U-turn like this means that he's probably Scarfed, and I'm like, well, I want to see if my Viper, who is also Scarfed, can outpace this guy. So, I go into Blade Wing as he goes for that U-turn, like I said earlier, and I just wanted to set up my Stealth Ox too, but I don't get the chance to do that, apparently, because this high Dragon has Spring Thrower, that kind of sucks. Now Viper, yeah, Viper is going to be very, very crucial in this match. If I could get rid of this Cofagrigus, of course, I can hit virtually everything on his team very hard. I could probably win if I don't miss anything. And I knew he had a Cofagrigus, so going in for a U-turn like that is going to enable me to go into Drapion quite safely, actually. I have the Black Sludge, so the Rox will not be very probable for my dropping on there. And he goes back into Seismic Toad, and Seismic Toad, I expected that really, and I just go for a knockoff to get rid of that Rocky Helmet. That Rocky Helmet is kind of annoying actually. So I end up switching out again, and I go back into Voodoo, and Voodoo is actually going to take an Earthquake very well, and he might have Ice Punch, but the Ice Punch it's going to do not very much. I was really surprised. And that's the kind of Trivenant that I have here. It's a physically defensive Trivenant. I should probably try an Assault Blast one and see which one works the best. But right now we have a physically based Trivenant to deal with. And I actually go for another Leech Seed. I should have gone for a Horn Leech here, but then I realized he could have gone back into Genesect. Now, unfortunately for me, he gets that very annoying freeze hacks, and that's going to pretty much cost me my Trivenant, actually. Just saying. Even though I do thaw out, it, it, it was just unfortunate that I got that hacks. It's just very annoying. So I do thaw out, like I said, and it's okay, I guess. I mean, I get a little bit of health back, but it's not going to make a difference whatsoever, just because he has Genesect and I just can't really switch out into a Genesect. So unfortunately, I'm going to lose Trivenant. Had I not gotten the Freeze Hats, I would have done something. Just saying. Now, I did lose my Regenerator earlier from Cofagrigus, so I wanted to switch out again so I can get to back to full health. Because again, I'm expecting another U-turn. I go into Qualixer, and you know, like Chos comes in. I'm not too worried about it, just because I knew it could just set up in my face and be like, I can take a couple of water pulses. And it's like, yeah, guess what? You're not going to. So Genesect, or actually, no, you like Chos. Excuse me. Wow. Uh, yeah, Genesect comes in now, and it's like, well, I'm sorry, you like Chos, but my Qualixer is pretty strong in my favor here. I don't know what that sis is thinking about that. But you know what? I I, I again just don't want to switch out to a Genesect. And I realized okay we have a Mega DLC. We're gonna go for that Mega Evolution and just Moonblast as much as we can. This is my legendary for this match. And I wanted to go for a substitute just so that I can have a kind of like a nice buffer there so that I don't have to get the out of the match too early on. So, like I said, I'm going to go for a Moonblast and I lower his special attack 
but that's not going to matter just because it breaks us up, regardless. I was pretty sad to see that, actually. And then he goes for protect. I'm not sure why. Yes, sis, I don't know why you're doing that. If you had classic or something like that, then I can understand. He actually had coffee green face going for a classic and protect strategy back in black and white, so I can understand that, but you should have gone for a toxic first. And you have done some, done something there. He brings back a seismic toad, thinking that it could probably take a hit, but no guys right there. And then we have Genesec again. genesec has been very annoying in this match. And I just don't feel like switching out. I thought my DLC could take a hit. But I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. I go for an Aqua Kill just so that I can put it at a range where my Viper could come in and revenge kill with a high jump kick. But I should have gone for a knockoff, maybe. I'm not sure if it would knock it out, but it would have been a much stronger move to go for. But he goes for yet another U turn and knocks me out with his high dragon. And my last Pokemon is Viper, by the way, so we need to high jump kick everything in the face. Because we have High Gygon, who's taken care of, and then we have Genesec, which, okay, I could probably kick this thing out, and then he has a Dark Rider left, and I didn't even see it. So, I go for high jump kick, and I missed! I missed! I missed that high jump kick! And that means... That Genesec is going to knock me out, and that sis is going to rule the whole region. I'm just kidding. But I would have won that match if I hadn't missed that high jump kick. Because depending on the Dark Ride set that he has, I would have outspent him. He said that it was timid Dark Ride and max speed, but I was scarfed. So, I mean, if Dark Ride was scarfed, in which I, I doubt it because it's Genesec was scarfed, then it wouldn't have mattered. So, anyways, that was a fantastic match I had with Gatsis. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll have a new Wi-Fi battle come out later, and be on the lookout for that. All right, goodbye, trainers.